Roger, thanks so much for taking the time today. Excited to talk to you about Cassandra a little bit. It's great to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. So listen, when when you were making The Man Without a Mask, you knew Cassandra's story was one that would translate well into a feature film. And you knew you said as much. This was going to be your first uh, your first feature. What is it about Cassandro, the person and his story that made this a film you or a story that you want to tell? I mean, uh, if you watch the movie, you see this a story about this incredible man who transformed an entire, you know, culture, an entire sport, which is one of the biggest sports in Mexico. And he did it on his own terms. He did it as himself. He took off his mask. And so how could you not be inspired by that? And like, you know, for me and for um, probably lots of people from the LGBT plus community, for so long we had just seen really depressing stories about gay people, um, you know, really depressing movies about, about gay people who were sad and lonely. And this was a really uplifting story. And um, I just really want to tell stories about people who overcome adversity, outsiders, people, you know, I, whether it's in Life Animated and Owen, a film I did about an autistic kid uh, that was nominated for an Oscar, or, um, or, or the story of Cassandro, it's about, for me, it's about like these stories about people who break down stereotypes and barriers, and Cassandro's a barrier breaker. Absolutely. You see that in the film a lot, and I think you beautifully captured the the torture that he was going through over this time and the, the time depicted um, between trying to maintain the relationships that he has, but also put himself out there and find that self-acceptance uh, that ultimately leads to his success. Uh, how involved was Cassandro in the actual making of this film? Uh well, David Teague, the co-writer, and I went down to El Paso a lot and hung out with Cassandro in the writing of the screenplay. So we really absorbed the culture of Cassandra's world and the culture of Lucha Libre. And, um, and El Paso um, was really important. And, um, and uh, so that part of it, um, uh, you know, right before we started shooting the film Cassandro, the real Cassandro had a stroke and uh, uh, is unable to speak or uh, and is in a wheelchair. Um, uh, and he can speak and make sounds. He's unable to form sentences uh, still. But I, um, you know, he came in a wheelchair, an emotional, very emotional moment. He came when we were shooting on location in El Paso in a wheelchair to set. And, you, and, you know, kind of tears streaming down his face as he watched the great Gael Garcia Bernal play him and be on a set of a movie about his own his own life. Like, you can imagine how how emotional that was for, for him and for everyone involved. Absolutely. Speaking of Gael Garcia Bernal, you mentioned in the past that he was your first choice. He was someone that you thought of immediately when you were casting for Cassandra or thinking about making the film. What was it or what is it about Bernal that uh, that made him the choice for you? Uh, I think that he's probably one of the greatest Mexican actors alive. Uh, I, he played really iconic a role he's done this before in another great director named um, what's Aldemar Pedro Aldemar uh, that he played you know in Bad Education uh, this role uh, uh, I've been as a fan of Guy Al since E to Mama Tambien and I um, no other actor could has the chops to play this he's also um he's a mexican actor he's uh it's his authenticity was really important to me you know him raul castillo mexican actor for, who plays Gerardo, mexican actor from the texas border grew up in the texas border in that culture in that community so he's authentic to to that world you know um la perla who plays uh, yocasta she's from juarez she's a local first time this is her first film and she did in a spectacular job first great. time yeah and she's from that community you know authenticity is really important 
Excellent. Well, I know our time is winding down, but I do want to thank you uh, for just making such a beautiful film. It really is a roller coaster that takes you kind of into the ring and it's exciting, but then there's the emotional beats that go from, you know, really sad to really uplifting. And at the end of the day, it's just a, a beautifully inspiring film and a good, uh, I think, a testament to Cassandra's legacy. So thank you again, because as you said, we don't get too many of these types of films uh, in the LGBT genre. So uh, I'm excited to, to add this to the list of positive ones. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's great to talk to you. Absolutely. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.